Hey everyone, welcome back to Date Nights Matter. I'm Tiffany Rose. And I'm Anthony. And thank you to our first 1,000 subscribers. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you guys no, so, thanks. so thank much you. for all of the support. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Really didn't expect it to grow this fast, but we have a long way to go. So yeah. thank you guys for tuning in. Keep tuning in every Sunday if you haven't already. And if you're new here, welcome and make sure to subscribe and follow us for more. We post videos every week. Yeah. Today, we thought we would do something a little more practical. Yeah. A lot of times when we talk to couples, I feel like they're always asking us for tips on like how to deal with things. And, you know, arguments are pretty natural yeah. in relationships. So I want to normalize gonna it. Happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> I don't care how long you've been yeah, together. Yeah. Arguments are going to happen. It's a natural part of a relationship. You're growing. You're coexisting with another person. So they're going to happen. So rather than trying to avoid it, we thought we'd share some practical tips on how to just fight fair yeah, and fight argue fair. better. Yeah. Fighting fair. Yes. So <laughs> let's get into it. We wrote down a few points. We're going to share them. So starting with number one, we said to set rules. To start off, you have to have some type of foundation. Yeah. So setting rules, a few of ours that we set are making sure that we're not doing it outside right. um of the like we there's a specific time and place like you exactly. know if exactly. we're at target and an argument breaks out like let's calm it down <laughs> and wait till yeah. we get home yeah. you don't you, need to do can, it you can hold it <laughs> until it gets home that, yeah that's the thing. exactly and it took us a while to learn that I mean, yeah we, we fought in target before you know <laughs> <laughs> no the specific <laughs> example was outside of target that i'm thinking of yeah. and i was like Let's not even go in. Both of us were like, let's not even go inside. Let's go home. Let's deal with it. Because we couldn't stop. If you can't stop, right. like, yeah. all right, just go ahead and take it home. Mm -hmm. But if you can stop for a little bit and yeah. go in. Or while you're in the store, again, hold it until mm -hmm. you're out in the car. Just don't, just don't <laughs> need to cause a scene. Exactly. Right. Um, and then also one of our rules was not going to sleep angry yeah, with each other. Yeah, that's a big rule. Yeah. That's a big rule. I think we made that mistake early on, mm -hmm. you know, where we was... <laughs> Obviously mad, it was getting late. We're coming to a solution. Like, all right, let's just go to bed. <laughs> yeah. And we it was like all it. night. And it ruined yeah. the next day, you know, mm -hmm. and it's because then you're still talking about yeah. it. It lingers. And we're both the type of people that are not letting it go. Like yeah. I know some people can just walk away and like go to sleep and move on the next day, but mm -hmm. that's still harboring resentment. Yeah. But we're just the type of people, no, we're gonna talk about it as soon as we wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We are not letting this go. Like two days of an argument. <laughs> right. So. Instead of just one, you know. <laughs> Try to at least you might not solve it, that's the thing. You might not yeah. solve it, but like at least get to a point where you can go to sleep and you guys are on good terms. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's the main thing. Um, so number two, we wrote down, don't avoid the issue because mm -hmm. again, it causes resentment, like speak up. Yeah. I think that you have to create a relationship where it's a safe enough space that you can open up and openly discuss issues that you're having mm -hmm. in a nice way, obviously, but no, don't I keep think, it in. Yeah, I think many men, many, 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 many men. <laughs> you said many men, so right. <laughs> but no, I think many men do hold back to not speak up to their women because nine times out of ten, right, most women they'll bounce back, and then it's going to cause that mm -hmm. argument, and then it's oh, I'm just going to keep it in, or I'm going to mm -hmm. talk to my boys about it, and that's an issue. And so, mm -hmm. like you're saying, having that safe space, I mm -hmm. think, is the utmost important for me. I know I can come to you, like, yeah, hey, I need some time right now, or. You know, I, I want to go on a walk, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, to let you know that I'm in this space rather than kind of just leaving it up for interpretation. And then you assume. The yeah, worst, right? I think for women, too, though, like I I think we do snap sometimes for sure. Yeah, but I think you on snap on each other. So it's I like that ain't just going <laughs> to. But I think like for women, I think women sometimes don't uh, speak up either mm -hmm. because I think a lot of men aren't receptive and like take that information yeah. in and do something about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you kind of take it personal. Like, okay, I'm, I'm providing. Yeah, you know, like we just went on vacation. We yeah. got food. <laughs> like, it's like what, it's not about that. Yeah. <laughs> what else can I do? <laughs> yeah, it's not about that. So, <laughs> um, number three, our third point is 
active listening. So this goes under communication. Yeah. All of it always comes down to communication. If you watched our other videos, every single one, we talk about communication and how important communication mm -hmm. is. Um, but part of that is actively listening yeah. to each other. Um, I know it's hard sometimes with, like in the middle of a argument where it's like, I'm already thinking about my next point mm -hmm. and what I'm trying to say next. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't help. <laughs> exactly. And it's, and it's us against the problem. I think we established yeah. that as well, where it's not, I'm, I'm not trying to win. That's the goal. It's like, I want to be at peace. And right. I want to be right. Mm -hmm. And I think we had to establish that as well, where it's like, we're against this problem. So let's talk it out. Let me hear your side. What do you think about mm -hmm. it? You know, putting yourself in my shoes and kind of doing that time and time again. I think we've gotten to a great point where we're able to just not let it escalate, escalate you yeah. know, or even if it escalates, we're able to bring it down mm -hmm. because we're hearing each other out. So I, I do think active listening is key because it's it's easy to assume the worst, even though we yeah. love each other. Yeah. You know? And, I and think, that's I think that's a great point. Yeah. Switching it from assuming the worst to assuming why would you have why would i assume the worst exactly. if this is the person i'm living with mm -hmm. if i'm deciding to share my life with yeah. why assume the worst mm -hmm. and that they're trying to come for me yeah. like you should have my back exactly. and that's I, that's why i picked you that's why i want you exactly. in my life right and i think that's a, a huge issue in our society where we do treat our loved ones with a bit more we're not know. as nice <laughs> Yeah, and then As a stranger, we are to strangers. Or you start yeah, a new job yeah, or yeah. Your colleagues, whatever, and you're treating them like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. And you come on, get off me, you know, and it's like, <laughs> this exactly, person got your back, mm -hmm. you know, when all you know kind of goes left. So. Yeah, one of the things our therapist a while ago told us when we were going to therapy during our conversations about actively listening to each other was, mm -hmm. um doing I feel statements yeah, when you're having yeah. conversations. And that's a great practical tip because it, it changes the conversation 100%. to like, I feel like you don't hear, or you, you I don't know. I feel yeah. that you're doing this. I don't like that you're doing this rather than you're doing this, yeah. da, 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 you know, and like when blaming, you're, you're accusing. accusing the vocabulary yeah. is so important. When you're accusing someone of something, Rather than asking that extra question, mm -hmm. that's just literally what it is. Which is another one that we don't even have, yeah. like asking the extra question. Mm -hmm. Being that patient. Yeah. Let it, let it that sink in. That was the hardest it thing is. to it do, hard. honestly, it though, to ask that extra question. Like even the other day, like it's like maybe you get a tone or you take their tone mm -hmm. wrong. And instead of reacting based off that, just ask the extra question yeah. like do you mean it like this or do you mean it like this because no, I, I feel like i mean we're we're taught so much to protect ourselves and i think that should and be defensive yeah that's just yeah. what we're taught you know just being on guard so when someone says something it's like, like what do wait, you mean what, do you, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but when you're in marriage and you're in a relationship you got to kind of take that step back mm -hmm. You gotta break down those Take a deep walls for a second, you know, and let yeah. it sit for a minute as well. You know, not everything needs to be addressed in that moment. Yeah, you know, and that's something we've learned as well. Where you say that, and even if we're in an argument about a specific subject, or something else was said, let's still settle this argument that we started with. And if there's something that bothered us, you know, yeah. let's bring that up later. Mm -hmm. You know, let let's not continue to pack on because oh, we got we we in the arena. It's time yeah. to fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me throw all, everything. That's another thing. You got to stay focused on the yeah, issue at yeah, hand. Like yeah. it's easy to bring up this over here and this over mm -hmm. here and this over here. And mm -hmm. it's like, now we're arguing about 10 different things. Yeah. And really like, I was just mad that you didn't change the That's trash why your fried like, chicken was nasty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you said it was good. Now we're getting personal. You know what I'm saying? Now we're getting personal. So, hold on, you, you really now I'm thinking chicken? about that in the back of my head. Really the next time I'm cooking, like <laughs> stupid. <laughs> We found that recipe together. <laughs> All right. Uh, but then yeah. the next point we have here is managing emotions, which mm. is my most difficult yeah. thing to do. Managing yeah, I'm saying, emotions. Yeah, I think I'm saying, yeah, in general, because yeah. I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm learning. Like I said this before in an episode through our son. He's two and a half and he has Ooh. these books on emotions. And, you know, we're doing the regulating emotions. And take a deep breath. 
And that has helped me tremendously. Yeah. I can't say it enough. It has. It, it really has. Like reading his books. And they got tips parents in, in some of those books. They do. And they do. They what? They, <laughs> they help. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I really think managing emotions mm -hmm. is. It's yeah. Because I mean, cool. obviously you're going to get mad. We're human. Like that's going to happen in an yeah. argument. But it's just like if you are getting mad, take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, maybe go for a walk, take some space. That has yeah. to be okay. Like, but then also I think a good point is setting a time mm -hmm. limit on that. Like, okay, I need some space, but how long is that space going to yeah. be? And maybe you don't set it like in that moment, but like that goes back to setting rules mm -hmm. and what you're doing, you know, to yeah. work in your relationship. So if that's two hours, three hours, that after that three hours, okay, take your space, but now come back and we have to have this conversation. Yeah. Like, that's it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, the next one is collaborating versus compromising. Oh. So now we right. always right. talk about compromising in a relationship. You're going to have to compromise. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to compromise. And we. You compromise enough, you're not going to be yourself. You're not going to be happy. Exactly. Let's so uh, for a while, that's the thing. We've always heard compromising mm -hmm. until maybe a year or two ago, yeah. I would say, where we I heard cops. It's, it's 2024, so I would say it's, it, oh, was yeah. about two, <laughs> it was about two years ago. Two, yeah. Two and a half, yeah, where we heard about collaborating. So yeah. I actually got a definition I wanted to share with everybody mm -hmm. of the difference. So compromising means getting to an agreement by each side agreeing to make concessions to their original position. Collaborating means working together to reach an innovative solution where mm -hmm. both needs are met without concessions. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. You're working together yeah. with collaborating. So we're whatever the issue is, we're working on it together to figure out how this can work for both of us. Mm -hmm. Whereas with compromising, it really is like, okay, I want this, but maybe I don't need this right yeah. here. And I do need this and same with you. And then we kind of compromise mm -hmm. on the issue. But Again, like you said, you compromise long enough, yeah. you're not going to be happy. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah, realistically, no, I think this collaboration piece is it's it's really huge because you're you're growing together as you're creating these solutions, and that's the beautiful thing in my eyes because it's like this is the way we work together. Mm -hmm. It's not how Anthony wants to work, how Tiffany like we're literally figuring things out, and then now this is the way we move forward, right? Yeah, this is how we have set our boundaries in that episode when we were speaking on that like everything comes from collaborating mm -hmm. at this point and that's it's really beautiful you know yeah back and like this is our way of life because we were actually able to sit down and again it was us against the problems to figure out solutions together and you know being innovative yeah I mean, and i think too with collaborating like you said like it goes off into other areas of the mm -hmm. relationship just in general because you have to work together yeah. on everything i think a lot of times people get into relationships and think that it's still me and yeah. him or yeah. me and her and you have to drop that in a marriage mm -hmm. like it or if you're getting serious to the point where you're wanting to get married or engaged or whatever like you're now one everything is now one mm -hmm. so you have to work together to make it operate as one yeah. not as individuals as one you still have yeah. your individuality yeah, but yeah. operate as one mm -hmm. moving forward well, to collaborate i mean the reality is is dropping your ego mm -hmm. that's, that's the, the true definition in my mind of how I, I look at it when it's like we're collaborating it's again putting all my thoughts feelings you know to the side of what i actually want and not being selfish, you know, and yeah. just hearing you out. And it's like, oh, I, we can't go around it this way. And mm -hmm. you're getting what you want. I'm getting what I want. There's, that's the thing, there's so many <laughs> solutions to one issue. Yeah. And I think a lot yeah. of times we think, no, it has to be this mind. way or it has to be this way. No, there's multiple ways of being right. Mm -hmm. Multiple ways of yeah. being right. Take that. Cause that, I it's think that's, and then that's, that's saved the us. Thing. I think yeah. when we heard that yeah. the first time where it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm right, but also what you're saying is right too. Yeah. It's just different, okay? And like I said earlier, <laughs> do you want to be at peace or do you want to be right? Really ask yourself that question. That's mm -hmm. the that's the key because mm -hmm. once you start to ask, that's like I really don't want to be right that bad. Like, it's not, that's not, <laughs> not the that important serious. Thing. It's like, not I, that I know serious. I want to be heard. Yeah, you know, but being right, that's yeah, not actually, why I'm not stopping with this yeah. conversation. Yeah, you know, yeah. so you know, it's really good.
And then so after that, we coming to the close of an argument, after the argument, it's important to reflect on what you've learned. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should stop talking about it until you guys both feel heard and both feel understood and feel like you guys can move forward without bringing it up again yeah. whether yeah. it's in day-to-day -day life or in the next argument like it has to be at a point where it's it can be completely dropped mm -hmm. like it's done and forgive and move on yeah. because there's going to be another argument <laughs> whoever yeah. knows how long whatever there's going to be another argument so it's like move on yeah. like let's keep going let's get back to being happy yeah, you know exactly. rather than and i think harping again, on this. You, it, it all comes down to consistency in life you know i believe with you know fighting fair and having these you know kind of set of guidelines per se like after a while it's easy to kind of come back together in a more mm -hmm. i guess quick manner you know mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. back in the day it would be mm -hmm. like all right i'm gonna be on my mm -hmm. side you're on your side Make i was the worst with this i did not you after know? our argument like, like i remember when we first met i was the worst like yeah. i didn't like it and it still makes me uncomfortable but you have to push through that uncomfortableness mm -hmm. and all right here yeah here's your hug right, like <laughs> right like you're hungry you know yeah like you start cooking all right let's go to the park you know yeah. do something to get yeah. our mind out of that place you know and it takes effort and, and, and being intentional, know, being, intentional. <laughs> being yeah. married relationships yeah. just include a lot of intentionality. Yeah. Like yeah. you can't just but go again, through that's, it. That's the beauty of it because it. in the beginning, when you're learning to have a healthy relationship, right? It's hard, but it, and it's challenges now. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. But again, you learn how to navigate those and you have a solid foundation. And now you're at a place where it's like, okay, we know we're going to argue. We know how to argue. So they're going to come up. They're going to come up randomly. Mm -hmm. We're not looking for them, mm -hmm. but you know, we're only human. But mm -hmm. once you get in that situation, it's like, it's just taking man. the tips that, you know, again, the rules that we've set, the foundation mm -hmm. that we've set again, those arguments, like we said at the beginning of this, the arguments are going to come throughout life. Yeah. Like that's part of it. There's so many different scenarios that could happen. Um, but yeah, it's like actually knowing how to, argue mm -hmm. how to do it yeah. in a nice way in a productive way yeah. so that be way nice. it, you get be yeah nice. be nice and just get over it as quick as possible with both of you being understood and being able to move mm -hmm. forward yeah. now if you're not able to if you're having the same argument over and over and over if you're having the hardest time collaborating working together with each other then might need to see therapy and yeah, that's okay like yeah. we did it where there if was you love a, each other enough yeah just do it out. and yeah. it, you have that extra person to be able to look at both sides of it mm -hmm. so to help you I, like i remember when we decided to go to therapy we were arguing it, and that was the thing it wasn't frequent arguments yeah. but when they did happen it was like okay we're not we're like our communication is completely breaking down here and we're not resolving mm -hmm. it in a healthy way so okay go to therapy and then she tells me from your perspective yeah. and then vice versa and it's like oh okay now i understand that yeah. a little bit better just having a non-biased opinion and a mm -hmm. professional opinion not just a professional opinion. Your cousins no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a non-biased opinion yeah, for sure yeah. for sure but therapy is okay you're gonna yeah. need help lean on that's why you have a community of other couples mm -hmm. around you healthy couples that you can lean on and talk to like I appreciate having our community around to, you know, For sure. bounce ideas, bounce ideas yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. But yeah, that's it. So those are our tips for fighting fair. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can take something from that. If you've had any experiences or some different tips, rules that you guys have set in your own relationships comment them down below we yeah, want to hear you. them yeah. hear all the feedback and make sure you subscribe again we're so 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 grateful <laughs> for all of you that have subscribed and we're excited to keep this journey going and just keep building this community yeah. so we'll see you next week five o'clock every sunday uh five o'clock p.m <laughs> pacific <laughs> standard time i don't know why this is such an issue for me to say this <laughs> Five um, PST. Yes. So if you're <laughs> East Coast, eight, eight o'clock. <laughs> West Coast, five. That's okay. It. We'll see you next week. <laughs>